Now it is time again, uh, the time to celebrate women in Nigeria. Across more other states of the Federation, government functionaries and groups join the rest of the world to celebrate women on the International Women's Day. Women across the country, including those in River State, have openly condemned members of the National Assembly for rejecting five gender bills sent to the House for consideration. And to openly register their anger, the women saw no other day but the International Women's Day to press home their demands. In a peaceful protest to the River State House of Assembly, the women called on the National Assembly to revisit the bills. With the actions of the National Assembly last week that rejected five of the gender bills were coming out en masse, all of the women groups in River State are saying enough is enough. We are agitating that there should be confirmation of the 35% affirmative action that is linked to the Gender and Equal Opportunities Bill. We are saying that women can do more, women can lead too, and so we need more representation of women across board in political administration. Power cannot be given to us. We must take power by our hands. We must take power by force. And that means the only thing that can give us this power is our permanent voters card. For these women, there is no balance in the system, which is the gap that needs to be bridged. This action will continue. Matches like this will become more frequent. We will step up our advocacy because our requests and demands, Jermaine, of course they are Jermaine. All we are saying is that we need what balance. There's no balance in the system. But the fact that they are okay for women to be stateless, when you marry, you are not from your husband's place, you're not from your own father's place, that means that you cannot participate adequately in politics at that level. is very, very abysmal. The fact that they, they are rejecting 35% affirmative action, settling for 20, is very, very sad. It just shows that the bias that we are trying to break today is entrenched in our political institutions, is entrenched in governance. The Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, who received the protesters, commended the women for their move to ensure the 35% affirmative is granted. As a gender sensitive assembly, we take into account the role of women in society right from of old. And we do not shy away from such. We will continue. But what we are saying as an assembly that the women should go beyond the level of advocacy. The theme for this year's International Women's Day is Break the Bias. From Port Harcourt, Rachel Ramsin for Silverbed News 24.